after the ball is over, after the game is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. Full and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hi, welcome to the Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode ninety-three. I'm Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico, almost everywhere. And my name is Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry, Plurk, and just about everywhere else. Um, the music that you have hopefully just heard um, is After the Ball is Over by Ren Ross, obtained from Movie Alley, which is from Medio. MovieAlley.com from Medio. And we want to thank, I think it was, I don't remember who it was, who told us that we were not being uh, viewed on iTunes. Um, we had it was a Max Nix. Max Nix. Thank I you, Max so. Nix. Yes, I do have to answer her again. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, we had had a few technical difficulties with Hipcaster. Um, Fibertown also had some difficulties. They had been resolved. They were um, really good about it. Once we got them to handle it, it was fine. Mm -hmm. And we should. We are up and running again over there. All our new episodes that were on Hipcast uh, loaded, uploaded via Hipcast are now back on iTunes. Okay, um, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers. Oh, today is Tuesday, <laughs> March the 11th, mm -hmm. and it's a little later than normal, but that's okay. It's still nice out. It's with the daylight savings time, it's okay. Um, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers, and uh, we want to thank you for joining us. Um, it's not later than usual. It's a little later. It's about 3.30, isn't it? 2.30. Is it 2.30? It's only 2.30. Oh, it is only 2.30. My mistake. Okay. I, mean, I didn't get up that late. Okay. Um, well, I've been up for half an hour. Um, I guess we ate a little bit later. I just felt like it was later. Um, we, I'll, I will try welcoming our new and returning viewers again. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. We have um, four new members? Five members. Five new members who have registered with the group. Welcome aboard. Um, our first one is Zen Knits 130, and I don't have a name for her, but we welcome her. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Das Boots, who is Cheryl. Das Boots, hey. Um, welcome, Cheryl. And then we have Chaotic Hooker, who is Amber. Welcome aboard, Amber. Um, Knit Trips Podcast, who is Anna, and I believe she was Anna Loves Sheep before, but we're glad to have her Can with you us. See that Thank you. And we have Nitpick56, who is Terry. We're really glad to have you um, officially with us. Um, if you are watching us or listening to us and you have not yet joined the group, please do. We'd love to know you and get to see your finished objects and works in progress. And it would be fun for you to join some of our KAL, CAL, CalCals for possible prizes. Mm -hmm. We're up to 177 members, which makes me happy. Mm -hmm. um, this time around, we do have some promotions before we go into the sweater along. This still goes, still is underneath um, publicity. Uh, Ten hours or less. Who is George? You all know George. He is providing three patterns for our sweater along. Can you pass me pillow? Um, he is having a sale in his shop, thirty percent off any two patterns or more um, until Saturday, March fifteenth at midnight. Um, EDT, which I assume is Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time. Wait, which day? Huh? Wait, to when? Midnight on uh, Saturday, March 15th. Oh. Um, at midnight. So 30% off any two patterns um, that you choose. You just have to put the promo code is um, get30, all one word. You put that in the promo code and you'll get the 30% off. I don't know if you can see all that I've got on here, but that's what my little announcement came as. Um, we will have it linked in the show notes. It's um, 
good at. He said his site was. Um, I can't link that in the notes, Mom. I can link www. Yes. Um, Ten hours or less. Dot com. Yes, but and uh, uh, I can't link an ad. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the the and we will put it in the show notes. Um, you go to www.10hoursorless.com. I am not sure if it will work in his um, Ravelry store or not. This is the website he gave me. Mm -hmm. So um, and that will be in our show notes. 30% off, any two or more patterns. Um, he also has a free baby blanket that's adorable. So you might want to head over there and see what he has to offer. He's been doing a lot. I went back there to see it. It seems like it just exploded. <laughs> he has a lot of new patterns. Um, new hat pattern that he posted in our show off thread I think it was it was in our show off thread really nice um, so just you yeah. might want to go over there if you're in the market for new patterns because 30% off is really good mm -hmm. for two patterns so the other thing um, we had a viewer ask Ty and I where we purchased the bags that we use we do um, you're going to hear piano in the background yeah my, do my other daughter is practicing Davina is practicing um, but one of our viewers Terry um I think it was Terry, um, Terry asked where we got the bags that we use for our projects. Um, we use several bags, but we predominantly use two designers. Not to say that the other designers aren't really good. These are the ones we prefer and we use the most. The first one is uh, Lois, who is Knitting's My Bag, and you can find her in Ravelry. Her group, her design group is on Ravelry. Um, her shop is knittingsmybag.bigcartel.com. And then the other one is the Cloverbird, mm -hmm. and she is at the Cloverbird.bigcartel.com. We will have these in our show notes just to make sure I didn't give you the wrong address. They made some really beautiful bags, um, and we will show them to you as we go through the podcast. I do want to show you my small this is my bag because I'm not using it currently. This is my small this is my bag. Yeah, bag. I, didn't, I didn't bring one of my mediums. But that's the, her the mediums that I have. Oh, I, are, I, are I have I have a medium. I have a medium. Of okay. Course. This is um, knitting my bag small, and actually it's a little smaller than her current one, I believe. It's a very well made. Well, that bag. was a special order the, one, I think. Was, no, I was, thought it was so it was an unusual one that wasn't a normal size for it. That's actually a sock or something for her. I think. This, this is yeah. This is a very nice bag, and, it's, and it will hold a sock project very easily. So this is, we will go through the bags as we go, and we'll tell you which um, designer did it. Um, so that, we wanted to answer that question as well. Okay. Um, Slur along? Yeah. Um, excuse me, I want to get my drink. No, no excuses. Okay. Morning, guys. Um, so, sweater along. Um, still going on. We have until March 30th. 30th. 30th, yeah. 31st? 31st. 31st. 38th, September, April, June, November, all the way to 31, except for the morning. My show notes still say 30th. <clears throat> um, I, even though I've said it 20 million times, I have to look at my show notes right now because I'm tired. Yeah, if you um, want the correct date, go to Kathy. Sweater <laughs> um, so along January 1st to March 31st. Um, we're doing it with the Knit Nerd Podcast. So, um, so that's Kathy, Kathy913, um, who is our co host. She's been amazing. She is super. Um, and, um, yeah, so basically, um, knit sweaters. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Um, uh, <clears throat> yes? I, I'm, I can't think. That, that, that um, is apparent. So, uh, if you, uh, make you can make us uh, you post progress pictures for the sweater um, for whatever sweater you happen to be working on that week in the um, sweater long thread um, whatever you worked on during the week you can post a progress picture for it one, one progress, progress yeah. one progress <coughs> picture mm -hmm. if you finish one of those pictures during the week you can not only you can also besides the progress picture you can also post the finished object picture. Right. <coughs> um, we accept adult sweaters and baby sweaters. The rules are slightly different for the Knit Nerd podcast. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to take part of the uh, Cal in her group as well, uh, just make sure that you check what her rules are. Right. Her only different rule is that she only accepts one baby sweater. We will accept Multiple. however many baby sweaters mm -hmm. you want to do. But they have to be human sweaters. Yeah, they have to be human <coughs> sweaters. 
they have to have been started um, December, December 26th or later. They could not have been finished before January 1st. Um, I, I want to say something else. Um, oh, you have to be a member of whichever group you're posting in. Right. So if you want to take part in prizes in this group, if you're going to post a sweater or a sweater along, um, you have to be a member of the group. And if you want to uh, gain prizes in Kathy's group, uh, posting, uh, join Kathy's group. If you want to uh, double dip in our groups, join both of our groups. And you can also triple dip in Sock Bunny Knit and Fit. Her, sock, her um, sweater along is also going on through March. We just happen to be doing it. We are, she is not a co-host. It's just Kathy, uh, Kathy913, Knit Her Podcast, and us here at Pen, Pen Hook and Needles. We're doing ours as a co-host together. <clears throat> Sock Bunny is doing her own, but she did say she would accept sweaters from our group mm -hmm. or from Kathy's. Um, you just have to be a member of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit group. Excuse me, I have a <clears throat> little bit of a cold. I will try not to cough too much for you. Um, so please, you know, Join the groups. Uh, we have a whole bunch of projects, uh, works in progress, finished projects. I am absolutely amazed and inspired. It is, it's, it's very awesome. It's just I'm awesome. way behind. <laughs> I'm finally caught up. Of course, I'm going to go back and Nicole or George <coughs> or Max Nitz or Allison. Somebody, Allison. That's the other one I was thinking. <laughs> Allison will have posted, and that's good. That's good. It makes me happy to see people posting. Um, as long as I'm not expected to keep up with the sheer volume of all the awesomeness. <laughs> well, we catch up in spurts, and everybody who's a member of the group knows this. Um, and those who are new members are finding out <laughs> that we are we, we are sporadic. Not sporadic. We are um, sporadic, dude. That's not what that means. That's not what that means. Um, we do it in clumps. We, we have to do it in clumps for our schedules. But, okay, enough about... Um, publicity and sweater long and all that. Oh, I did forget something for the sweater long. We want to thank our prize donators. Well, I'm sorry, um, guys. We want to thank George, who is 10 hours or less, who is donating three patterns to one, uh, one each to three lucky winners of this sweater long. His patterns are dynamite. Um, we like them a lot. They're great. Mm -hmm. um, very talented designer. We have a um, project bag from Kathy, who's Kathy913, who's our lovely co-host. And we have um, a project bag that Talia bought from Denise, who is um, Knitting Den. from the Knitting, Knitting Den podcast, who if you don't watch her, you should check her out. And then we have a $7 pattern that we will be donating both to this uh, group and to uh, Kathy's group. And then there may be one or two other prizes um, we have not made up. Our we mind. have not made up our mind yet. We just don't know what they are yet. We'll have to see. Our collective mind. Our collective. We are mind. the board. We are the board. Yes. Okay, that is it for the sweater along. I think. That's all I can think of. But okay. you know, don't expect me to think very well at all right now. <laughs> okay. Who? We how many? How many whips? How many? <laughs> how, ah, hooks do you have? Three. 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 Mm, one. Two. Three. <clears throat> I thought I had four. Apparently not. I do have four. I will pay you first. Okay. Um, excuse me, an attempt to get some of this stuff out of my throat. My first project I worked on is my lattice trellis, baby, my lattice trellis blanket. And you're probably tired of seeing this because it doesn't seem making any progress whatsoever, but I am working on it. I have a head on my shoulder. I have two heads on my shoulder. You have two heads? <coughs> wow, that belongs to me. Well, hey, look, I have my hook. Technically, your head's not on your shoulder. I found my... No, look. Technically, your head's this is on important. your... This important. Yes, technically, your head's on your neck. <laughs> I found my hook. Technically, your head's on your neck, and your neck is on your shoulders. My hook. Otherwise, you'd look like a weird monster thing. Well, I don't with your head on my shoulder. At least you don't look like you have two heads directly on your shoulder. Okay, no, I made I made this much progress. You can see my little blue doohickey here. Where, where is it? I, there it is. There's my little blue. So I made about maybe another two or three inches on this. I didn't get all the way through this row, but 
it's coming along. I'm about ready to. Um, it has grown. Though. Yeah, it has. I'm about. I think I'm going to do maybe another ball and a half or two, and then I'm going to go back to the um, the Danielle colorway, the Danielle the yarn and the Dawn colorway. colorway. Um, but I think I have at least another ball or ball and a half of the impeccable to work first. I really wanted to get rid of my rose. I had so much dusty rose after my parents' anniversary gift. I just despaired of ever using it. Um, but this has been a real nice. Has it made a dent? It has. I still have a, a bit left mm -hmm. um, of Vanna's Choice and a little bit of the Impeccable when I'm finished, but it's not so overwhelming. Like I look at my shelf and say, "Oh my gosh, it's pink." Mm -hmm. So, and I'm using an eye hook with this. The pattern's my own pattern, and no, the ends are not weaved. We've we weaved in, woven in. in. Yeah, and I'm having fun with it. It's a nice, mindless kind of. Not have to think about a project, and of course now I can't fold it without losing my hook. But oh well, and that's that. You guys have seen it. You can probably say all the yarn and the hooks and everything better than I can. Your turn. Well done. Well done. Yes. Well done. I said hold on. Well done, she says. You hear it, but God wants us to hear it. Yes, of course I do, because you don't say anything else worth hearing. <laughs> <You're really laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I love you. So, well, you can't help yourself. <coughs> oh, <laughs> wow. A little bit of I, I'm just so utterly likable. Uh huh. Lovable. Delusional. Probably a little bit of that, too. <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> Your project. Yes. Um, so, I'm working on my project that I'm working on. Um, this is the um, Turquoise Love Project. Which is uh, Lots of Love by George, um, 10 Hours or Less. Um, it's from his Baby Blankets uh, book. I forget uh, what it's called. The Too Busy Baby, Baby Blankets book. Um, I'm really using nice. US 15s. No, US 17s. They're huge needles. Um. U.S. 17. Ooh, I actually memorized that part of the pattern. No, I memorized most of my details. I'm using um, a Pound of Love in the turquoise colorway. So With three strands together. Three strands together. Although at some point, I was talking to George, and I could probably do a bulky. Or a super bulky, maybe. Yeah. And get the same effect. Yeah. And um, hmm. that's going to be a warm blanket. It is. Um and I just, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, oh, I probably should have work, uh, started on talking about different projects since I'm in the middle of a row. Well, you're almost done. I'm right? almost done. I, you, you guys, we're just going to blather until I finish this row. <laughs> <laughs> blather, 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 blather. I don't think that works. But work. blather about something. You can blather about something. I never blather. You talk all the time. I never blather. You I talk do all not, the time. do not, in fact, blather. Be interesting for a couple more minutes. Be interesting, she says. Does she think this is something that I can just turn, turn on? on? Yes. <laughs> you know, be interesting. <clears throat> Come on, perform. I do not, in fact, perform. perform. Come on, prefer. Do I look like a trained seal? And you better listen and act <laughs> carefully. Respond very carefully. If you, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it, this moves along very, very quickly. It because she's I don't think too much work on this. Um, lately, but it looks like it's moving along. It, it moves along pretty quickly because it's so. It's it is three. It's it's three strands of worsted together. Yes, not three strands of fingering. So it's quite heavy. It is, um, which is awesome for like winter e weather. Um, Whoa, we're halfway there. What are you doing or trying to do? Nah. <laughs> That's her answer for everything when she doesn't know what to say. Nah. Nah. It's a little bit of a step up from Thais anyway. Yeah. <coughs> I can't. She wants me to talk and my voice is not cooperating. She needs to hurry up and finish. I, I have like five more stitches. Five. Four. Three. She's not moving. Well, that doesn't help me. Five, four, three. New. Two one new two three four five. 
Did you miss up my count? <laughs> Davina would have a fit if she heard me doing that because that comes from Sesame Street and she doesn't like anything that reminds her of babyhood or you see I never watched Sesame Street really growing up well you had a little bit that was the time when you were like a year or two old so I, I did most like Reading Rainbow and yeah well I did Mr. Rogers with you and Reading Rainbow you see I don't remember Mr. Rogers that much I remember mostly Reading Rainbow with my virgin <clears throat> I was a sci-fi person even then. Mm -hmm. Okay, voila. Okay, now after you got to see me knit a couple minutes, it's very pretty. Oh, actually, like you having it. The <coughs> color is pretty true to. <coughs> Sorry, color is pretty. It's a little more blue than it actually is, but it's. Oh, you can see the hearts. Really yeah, the, you can see you really see the hearts <coughs> easily. Uh, and right over here in the center, even though you. Can't can't really tell yet that um, is developed in the center heart. It's just too early to tell. It's very, I like it a lot. Um, it's quite heavy. It is. I wouldn't mind a blanket of this weight. And it's probably pretty simple to adapt to an adult. Well, George has it, how to adapt everything. He always does. Um, <coughs> well, excuse me. This pattern does. He might have multiples of. Yeah. You know, if you do the multiple. Well, it wasn't written. Oh, it was all charted? No, it wasn't written in that way. He did not write. Oh, okay. Um, if you wanted to make this an adult blanket, because then that ceased to be ten hours or less. True. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're super, super crochet or super knitter. So, uh, but yeah, it's. Um, I guess I don't know if knitting does multiples like crocheting does. Well, it's the same general concept. Um, all it is is a different size stitch. But yes, uh, this has gotten some love. Um, but mostly sweater addicted, but it's got it's gotten some love through it. Um, my next one is my uh, Move by the Spirit shawl, mm -hmm. which is my Recuerdos de Infancia pattern by Gabriella. And <coughs> excuse me, no, I, I refuse this one. It's in my this is my knitting's my bag, large her original large bag. Um. Oh, I didn't show them. Well, these bags are harder to show the way they are. So I'll show what? These bags are hard to show. I'll show my next two bags. Yeah, you got to show the big uh, Yeah, I, I have both of those <coughs> and a... Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on this because it is a gift. And it has been growing. And this yarn blooms a lot. But this is how far I got on it. It, it, it looks like she's trying to match the baby blanket. I bought my yarn. Oh, never mind. She bought her yarn first. So I started mine first. This is the shawl so far. It almost looks like a little mini shawl or a shawlette. I mean, if I if I went ahead, it, it still is like the Star Trek symbol. Yeah, if I went ahead and blocked this, I could wear it as a shawlette. It it just it'll bloom that much. This is Knit Picks Bravo Worsted. No, this is Knit Picks Stroll Tonal in the. Is that the same kind of yarn you used for the for the red one? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say because. It's yarn that determines the blooming, not the pattern. Right. Well, I know that. Um, <sighs> Nitpick Stroll Tonal in the blue yonder tonal colorway. So, I'm happy with it. I, I'm about I'm about 45% through this. Mom, is that actually an Air Force song? Yeah. It used to be anyway. I don't know if it still is, but... They used to use it in the movie. I don't yeah, know. I know they used to use it in the movie. That's why I wasn't sure if it was actually an Air Force song or if it... I, I just remember it I movie. am not sure. I'd have to ask your grandpa um, and see what he says or your dad. Because I remember dad taking pictures for, like, those music things that would take place on Right, days, but, but that's, that's just... I don't know. I'd have to ask. I'm not, I don't know if it's the official song or not. But anyway, I'm using... Um, my hook is a, a G-hook. And I told you what the yarn is, and I told you what the bag is, so there it is. And there you be. Wherever you are, there you are. There you be. I think it is there you be, Mom. Wherever you are, there you I be. I don't think so. Not from, um... I thought it was what was the quote from Buckle Bonsai. No, Buckle Bonsai is, um, wherever you are, there you are, or something. I, I, I can't remember I think that it's quote. there you be. No, there's no B in it. It's there you are. That's the end. Of, that's the part I do remember, is there you are. But anyway, well, they worded well, they worded. Um, it sounds more fun the way I remember it. 
Yes, we all know the stubbornness. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Um, so, there, I, I had to write down my rows. I brought my paper. No, okay, um, Sue, let's see, 37, there, okay. Um, my next project is, that I worked on is, I actually got quite a bit of work on the Ink Heart. Which is, which is Lush Pattern by Tin Can Knits, using US 3s and US 6 needles, um, and Miss Babs Yowza What a Skein in the Fountain Pen Colorway. And um, working it for Mom, uh, this was a pattern that I had gifted to me from um, Nurse Kim Knits. I'm doing the size 33. I love that color. Am I in the middle of the row? And so you can see, looking at my sweater, you can see that it is different. Very slightly. But look at the camera. It's, 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 I guess it is, yeah. <clears throat> oh, good, I'm not the middle of the row. I must have finished it before I went to bed. I saw James do that the other day. Dawn was doing something where she was with the with the needles, and James was <laughs> a wild lunge out of the way. Yeah. And, uh, I've got a whole bunch of different strands because of the... Uh, um, of having to do the lace and then do the actual sweater. There's a lot of strands to contend with. And it all it Mel had a good way of doing that. She used to take those little, like you have for um, embroidery mm -hmm. cards, and I think it was embroidery cards, and she would wrap the ends around it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let go, release. Release the royal threads. Whatever it is you wish to release. The threads to release. The threads the are the problem. The threads are the problem. There we go. Okay. So. Not if it's ever going to completely release. That's just going to have to be good enough. Okay. Um, I have separated for the sleeves. You can see the uh, lace. Is that right here, your, your sleeves? Yeah. You can see the lace in the back and how it wraps around. That is so pretty. To the front. I don't. I think I was still finishing up the lace last time. I don't think I'd even started the collar yet. Um, so, let me put this over here. I want to lean forward a bit so I can show you detail. So, Initially, I'd done the lace, I blocked it, and that's what I think I'd done last time. Then I picked up the stitches up top, added the collar, um, and then picked up the stitches on the bottom, and started the body of the sweater. It's curling a little bit, but it's not that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but <clears throat> it, um, it's okay, it's okay. Quite a bit's been done on the body. This is the point where it gets just to be my, mostly mindless knitting just because you knit in stock in it. Um, the lace detailing is done. I really like the lace detailing, um, but I'm not sure how many lashes I'll make just because I hate the block. <laughs> um, the bane of our existence. I, I, I don't do like doing blocking more than I have to. Uh, is it Megan who never does the blocking or blocks? Which one? No. Megan blocks square something and Amy doesn't do the blocking? A, uh, I'm stopping this down. I can't remember which one. One of them blocks everything like all over the place and the other one kind of just not so much. I think Megan is the one who blocks crazy. I that, can't remember. That makes sense. <laughs> I, I, I think I can't remember. Amy makes me laugh. Megan makes me laugh. I know uh, Megan always, I mean Amy always does the really long sleeves and such. But right. Well, um, Me well, Megan's the one who just kind of, oops, uh, I ran out of yarn, I'm out of yarn, let's make it a mid-dress. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but yeah, it's, uh, right now it looks like um, an Aladdin vest with lace. So, um, yeah, this has gotten a lot of love this week. What's Megan, just run it? Yeah, just run it, and then um, Amy is um, Jay Nitma. Jay Nitma or Jay Nitma? Jay Nitma. Jay well, you'll know who it is when you see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
excuse me. Oh, and this is in my um, Plover Bird uh, large Batman bag. And this was a custom order. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if she has any more of this fabric. She gave me several choices, and this was the most unique one. I really like it. It's a stained glass effect. I really like that as well. Uh, That's awesome. Almost makes me think of the, even though it's, it's not a Jim Lee Batman, it makes me think of it. Uh, not Adam West. Oh, well, no. <laughs> um, Jim Lee, for, uh, as comic book fans would know, uh, is one of the great artists of DC Comics. Um, even though he, annoyingly enough, has started the New 52 uh, reboot for the DC Universe. Not quite so pleased about that, but oh, okay. the man's an amazing artist. Partially because he went to medical school before he became a comic book artist. Okay, my next project is um, the 10 Hours or Less um, Berry Blossoms pattern. It's a mitts pattern, and I'm using a G-hook for this. Before you go on, though, I just want to say because Yaz what a skein is a joy to work with. And that and the that colors is, are beautiful. Yaz what a skein is Miss Bab. Yeah. Um, Bonk. this pattern is 10 Bonk. hours or less, um, come back here, what berry, you berry blossoms pattern, huh? What bag are you working on? This is my Plover Bird medium bag. And let's show it together. Okay. Yes. Hang on, let me close this one. Oh, no, you're just open too. Okay. You can see the difference. Stop raising yourself. I'm trying to show I'm just trying to get the bat, the bottom to be there, okay. there we go. So you can see the difference. They're both pretty good size. I just want to bring it down because mine keeps coming out of the view screen. There we go. So there's quite a difference. Um, it's, but the it one that really seems to be huge, even though it's the same size as my um, TARDIS one. My mm -hmm. TARDIS one almost feels like it's bigger on the inside. This bag, if you look in here, you can see I've got, um, I've got the pattern folded up. I've got a, a almost full skein of Bravo uh, worsted, and like one and two and a half little skeins of whatever it is that Ty let me borrow, and I still have plenty of space in here. Um, Tell you doesn't even know what Talia let you borrow. <coughs> Isn't that Italian yarn? Uh, okay. I did. I did. I had originally started this in the Bravo worsted, in the celest, the celestial colorway, that blue, bright blue. Yeah. And in our house, the light was just not allowing me to focus on the colors. I think I'm going to wait till the sunlight gets brighter with the summer and try something, a project with that colorway later. So I did switch to a dove gray base and the blue, the blue yarn is what, what Talia let me, yes I know the, I still need to weave things in. I still have to put the thumb in. Now I got Gage with the G hook. This is the left, left hand. I like it without the thumb. That's a very nice fit. Yes. Even without the thumb. I haven't decided what. It, well, I guess you should do one with one with the thumb, and then see if you decide you like it without. Because mm -hmm. right now, it's I guess it's more of an arm one. But this is what it looks like, and I got gauge. So I actually have a. I guess they call it a hoe. I don't like that, but anyway. Um, Half object for those of you who are unfamiliar with stocking and zombies. Uh, yes. Term. This. Um, this I got gauge with a G hook. And I guess it's okay. I thought maybe I would go with the H, but I think the J, the G is okay. I, I found, I love the... I can see where it would behoove you to do the long ones. Yeah, but I think I w I'm going to do the long ones, but I'm going to do the long ones without the detailing. I like the detailing, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the, um, <coughs> with the way we have to make the little berries, Okay. And it's, it's me. It's not. It's not George's pattern. It's me, um, with the small hook that I was using for it. I'm using. Um, it sounds like a. It's not you. It's me. It's a D. I'm using a D hook, and this yarn is a sport weight. So I'm having a hard time getting it to come through the way it's supposed to. Um, it's not coming through. For you. Yeah, but I, it's it's a really nice pattern, and I will probably finish my other mitt with this. But if I do the, if I probably will do. The longer mitts, but I probably will omit the detail and I'll just use. I have a um, really nice skein. I, I like this the plain pattern itself. For the I mitts. do too. I do too. I um I have a, a skein of Madeline Tosh. Um, 
I don't know what it's called, but it looks like stained it's glass. Impressions, isn't it? I don't know. It's, it looks like stained glass. I think that's what I'm going to use for the longer longer version. And it says, according to the ball band, I should have enough. But I crochet so loosely, I may have to get another one. I'll have to see. But I really like this pattern. Like I said, the 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 difficulty I had with the berries is my fault, um, not George's. It's just a matter. Yeah, it's just a matter of me learning how to bring the the yarn through the number of loops that I have to bring it through at once. And I like it. I really it fits really nice. Even <clears throat> even without the thumb, which I have to pick up for still. It really <clears throat> fits. Nicely. It looks like it fits nice. I mean, I like it. I really do. Now, did you? You did good, George. Did you sew it up the side? I did sew it up the side. I don't. I have that's, that's my preferred way of doing the mitts. Well, he had. Well, it's a paid pattern, so I don't want to tell you, but um, the way he sews it up. But okay. but it's it's very nice. I I am enjoying it very much, and I just have to put the thumb on and start the other mitt. I do not know if I will have this finished for the next podcast or even start it because I have a couple other projects I'm working on. But I am not going to. I am going to finish it. I like it. And I want to be able to wear it. So. Yay. Thank you, George. Okay. I guess it is my turn again. Let me just Because for whatever reason, I've decided that working a chart while I'm podcasting is, you know, the most desirable thing. This isn't that, this isn't a very complicated chart. It's just enough that I kind of follow it. There you go. I'm not going to have to blather the whole No, time. no, no, no. I don't need to finish the row. I just wanted to uh, slip the uh, stitch marker so it didn't mm. fall off and, you know, run away. I'm going to hide with my pen. You see, unlike you, I don't lose my pen. Don't I keep track of my pen. Yeah, sure you do. In my large uh, knitting of my bag, bird bag. Pretty, 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 pretty. Little cute birdies. I make birdies. Um, and these two designers, like most, will do custom orders. Yeah. They will either look for a fabric and give you a choice or you can send them a fabric or have a shop send them a fabric and they'll um, work with that. Like the autism awareness one mm -hmm. is a uh, special order. Special order. Mm -hmm. I really need to throw it in the wash because all the yellow yarn, all the yellow fuzz from my yellow sweater is still in there. So there's like yellow fuzz sticking to everything. You want to make sure you put it in cold and maybe hang it to dry because you don't want the colors. I'll have to see if she has any. Yeah, because you, um, you don't want the colors to run. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I wash everything in cold anyway. Mm -hmm. But, so, um, yeah, yellow yarn. So. Um, so, the, the last project that I worked on was the Villainous, which is a box elder cardigan um, by Maria Lay using US 9 and US 7 needles. Working with Dragonfly Fibers, Traveler in the Villainous colorway, making size 36. <coughs> and I made some progress on this as well. I thought I was going to uh, pick up for the sleeves, and I have not yet. Oh, yeah, I'm at the end of the row for this one, too. No Lindsay's pulled. Um, this is like Mom's uh, ink card. This is worked from the uh, top down. I recognize these stitch markers. Indeed. Um, they're my um, Lord of the Rings stitch markers. But appropriate. I changed the name uh, from Villainous actually to uh, well, the project. I changed the name to uh, Robin Bloxley, because it makes me think of Robin Bloxley, the, the actual make of the... And you can see, sh show them how it looks hanging down when you're done. Oh, uh, yeah. So it looks really nice. Um, Just... Yeah. You can yeah. see the shoulders already developing. Um, I don't know when they're going to have me put up, on hold the uh, stitches for the sleeves. I like the, the hood construction. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it would be comfortable to wear. Yeah, it does. And it will look kind of like, hang on, just take your hat off. No, because I have it. Look silly with the hat on. Stop it. 
You can't even see the hat. I can, right there. Stop pointing. <laughs> there. Stop it. There. So, I mean, I'm not going to... You're not... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you can kind of That's nice. see where it's it might come a little further forward yeah. without the hat, but um, but you can see where it fits. And actually, it won't come too much further forward because I'm not done with the hood completely. I had to right. add. Right, and she's got this sweater has a hood on behind it, so it's yeah, that sweater. doesn't help either. So it looks a little uh -huh. awkward, but it's, uh -huh. it's really nice. It looks like you have a hunchback, but you could. <laughs> Um, but it's so pretty. It and, and it's a very different green, which is mm -hmm. good. So um, this is more of a dark green mm -hmm. that I wear with blue. I wouldn't be as likely wear this one blue. I would mostly wear this one with green or yellow, maybe. Yeah, um, I could wear this with different colors, but it would be it would provide a different. I wear it with a different kind of outfit. It may be a very different effect. <laughs> Whereas this is like a bluey greeny. Well, it's kind of a fur. Yeah, it is. Um, whereas this is more of a springy, sherardy. The greenwood. Okay. So, Robin of Loxley has gotten some work. Going back. It's something about the setup of the hood just makes you think of uh, something they would wear. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then the patterning makes me think of Sherwood Forest with the da sun dappling on the uh, woods. Okay. Yep. All right. My last project is yep. in my. Mm -hmm. This is my bag. No, I'm sorry. My plover bird. This is my plover bird large bag. My chai tea bag. Um. Natalia gave me this for Christmas, I think, a couple of years ago. And this is the. Um, Rusty the Bear pattern from the Amigurumi Jerry the Felted Bear pattern that Scarves Etc. gave to me. Except you are not going to felt it. I am not going to felt it. I am not using more than one strand of yarn at a time. I'm just using one worsted yarn. It makes it like a normal um, it makes it like a normal toy. This is the head. It is finished. I was going to actually say like um, a normal um, fresh stitches toy. Right. Um, my husband said, what's that? I said, it's a bear. It kind of Defensive because all my toys. He's like, oh, that's a good color for it. He approves of natural colors. Yes. So this is this is the head. This is the first leg. It's and this is leg. the beginning of the second it's leg. It's a stubby leg. Stubby, stubby, for those stubby, of a, For those of you who have been watching us for any length of time, you know yeah. I love toys, and I'm having a blast with this. I, I really enjoy Stacy's toys. Um, they are interesting, but I don't have to concentrate too hard for the most part. So they, I just I just enjoy them. And usually she has the eyes on already. The eyes the eyes aren't on this yet because I, it's well, supposed to be so. felted. So, um, but normally about this time I'd have a little face looking at me when I work with. It. <laughs> so I'm enjoying this. I'm using a G hook. Stacy gives you less time to get attached to the toy. It's mine. Oh, okay. Um, the H hook. You're already attached to it. Never mind. The H hook that she normally has people use. I decided to use a G hook because when I use a, an H hook with Stacy's pattern, I generally have a little bit too open a stitch because I crochet so loosely, and I, I still get a really good sized toy out of it. So I'm having fun with this. I hope I can get more work done on it this week. I don't think I'll finish it unless I concentrate on I, I would rather kind of maybe finish the shawl but there it is that's my last whip my last hook in my and, bag. and I and I finished on mine so uh, do you have any FOs I do not have any FOs but this might be a nice point to do the yarn thing right we had um, one of our new viewers asked or our new members asked about the yarn Talia used, I think she was one of our new members, about the yarn Talia used for her yellow sweater and how it compared to some of the other bulkies and chunkies. Well, the um, first thing I immediately noticed, this is um, uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this chunky. It's very loosely plied 
tw very loosely twisted, uh, which makes it very soft. Um, plus, it's also a bit of a sheddy yarn. Um, I keep finding little yellow bits mm -hmm. on every single sweater that I own because I, I knit it wearing all different sweaters. Well, let's tell them what yarn we have first. This is I Love This Yarn Chunky. This is Knit Picks, Picks Brava bulky. bulky. This is Yarn Bee's Tender Touch. And this is Knit Picks Biggio, which I actually believe is their super, that's a super bulky one. Super bulky. That doesn't even... I think that's about the same as the Chunky. I think the bulky is... a. a These three are about the same. About the same. This one... That's, that one's too big. I brought this... Way. Well, I think... No, I think that... Um, because she called for chunky, that this, I just want to show you the difference in this, how big this is, and then I'll put it away. You can see that it's not that much bigger. Well, it's just that this one's so loose. It's, this is loose as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, you can see that one, twist. yeah, this is very loose. Um, I got this on a promotion, and I have not used it yet. It's very soft and would make a great sweater, but um, it's a little more loose, loosely plied, I guess it is. I'm not a spinner. <laughs> Loosely plied, and even that yellow is. Okay, but let's get back to the ones that are really the stars of the show here, these three. This one's a nice, uh, tight, well, yeah, like a nice, normal, tight. And there's no fuzz on the, on the, uh, on the there's Bravo worsted. Little. Very little, but look yeah. at this. No, it's definitely less than fuzz than the other two. This is, you can, def you can see a halo on, on the, the yellow. I think the red one is even more than the yellow, arguably. Yeah. Um, but the but the uh, Brava war, the Brava bulky bulky is not at all. You can see there's very little fuzz. I guess it's called a halo. But if you look at the red here, can you see the halo? Yeah, I, I I'm not sure if the halo shows up nearly as well on a camera as it does in person. I can see it if you look at the ends of the um, at the very ends of the picture. You can see it on the ends. And there's a halo. On this, well, actually, you can see, you can definitely see it on. And this, the, the yellow. Um, the viewer who asked asked us how it knitted up. We have not knitted up these two yet. Um, this one knits up well. It's a little, it can be a little splitty when you first start because it's so loosely uh, twisted. But, and I haven't, I haven't, I haven't knit with this so, one yet. Uh, we don't, we can't tell you that, but we'll keep you posted when we do our projects with these. So that's our. Um, Actually, I guess that would be more didactic, maybe even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, that blather. That, that, we want to. I do. I do not, in fact, blather. Where do you think I learned? I did not, in fact, blather. Where do you think I learned? Okay. Um. Oh, well, that's a good place for it. Anyway, we just did work. Okay. Um. Do you have any um. Um. Mm -hmm. Anything you bought? Yes, I have. I have royalties. Thank you. Do you? Um, no. Okay, I have some. I royalties. have things I bought, but they aren't here yet. I do have royalties. I bought. I went to Walmart. There was. A, I'm the on the Great Wall of Mart. Yes, the Great Wall of Mart. Ooh. Um, I'm usually kind of annoyed with them because they keep cutting back their yarn section, but this time they have what I wanted. I have been looking. I've been trying to think what patterns I'm going to do for autism awareness, and I had two in mind especially, plus the, some of the toys that I have, bright colors, like my stomp and all that. And I had the neon for the one pattern, but I couldn't mm -hmm. find what I called black light. It's, it called for black light, red heart yarn, and I didn't know of any other yarn that would have the same effect, so I needed that yarn. Oh, you know what? I forgot to keep talking. I forgot the other project I worked on between us. Okay. I'll bring you back. This is the black light yarn. I found it. I, I almost cleaned them out of it. It's red heart, super saver black light yarn. And the pattern I want to do with this is a headband, a cowl, I think it is, and a, and a pair of boot toppers. I'm not sure about the boot toppers because um, if I make this for Davina, um, and it's very hard, she's very small, I may decide to make a pair of mitts instead um, using that. She'll love it. What do you mean? Um, that pattern set that has the headband, the boot toppers, and the Oh, cowl. she'll love that. I was just saying that if the, I also have enough yarn that if I do have enough yarn, I could do all three of them. Oh, she plus, would love plus, that. Plus, I could do the mitt. Because she, and then it would go so well with her hot show. Right. Well, wait a minute. I picked up two um, 
of these air, crochet dude air, air, aerodynamic ergonomic aluminum crochet hooks to see if I like them. I picked up a GMH. Um, that that was my acquisitions at Walmart. Um, so you've been seeing Davina's uh, disco poncho forever. I actually got a comment in Italian from the designer <laughs> that said, uh, "I think the translation came out to uh, very Three. psychedelic." Yeah, yeah. Because um, I had to Google translate it. <laughs> Pretty close to what I told you it said. Yeah. Um, but uh, I thought it said. I didn't know for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, could you bring up the black light again, sis? That this is mostly what I wanted to show. I think it looks very similar. So she'll be able to wear them together. It, it it works up a little differently in the pattern. It works. It looks almost like not stained glass, but like bunches. Bun yeah, more like little squares. But that would still work. I think the colors would. I would be interested in seeing if I picked up some of this from Wild. This is from Wild Hair Studios. Yeah. Um, if I pick this up, this is the neon colorway, I think. Oh. I or is it a psychedelic colorway? I forget. Anyway, I don't know what the colorway was. This, oh, hang on, let me look it up. This colorway. Um, I don't think she calls it the same thing anymore. I think it's uh, it's. An, it was called Neon Lights, but I think it's a different name now. Okay, well, whatever it is, if I were to get some of it or maybe take, you know, tie, has a little bit left, I'd try a repeat of the pattern and see if it would actually work out the same way this one does for that pattern. I don't know right. if there's something in the pattern. So, but, yeah. yeah. Um, I had almost forgotten about this. This gets worked on when I'm in church or at work or whatever. Only during the sermons. Yeah. Yeah. So she can stay awake. Um. With, with permission from the past, from the priest. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Did you do any, uh, do you have any uh, autobiography? No, I did buy, uh, I've been dying to make uh, more um, of the Zuz, more Zuzu's petals. I want one that's yellow to uh, red, because um, I have the red to blue. So I want one that's yellow to red, and then uh, I found one that's in green. Found yarns in green as well, so I can have a couple different color choices for the ZZ petals. Because I wear that a lot more than I ever anticipated. Right. Well, so I'm waiting for that yarn to come in. I did some writing. I well, I did more critiquing than I did writing. I did three criti critiques for friends, posted them. Um, I posted one free write to my. Um, Coffee House for Writers, which is the CH Percolator. And I did about 200, 240, 250 words um, rough draft for my work. It, uh, part of my work is writing blog. Writing blog? Uh, blog, blah, blah, blah. Writing blog post articles type things. I read blah. Yeah. Um, so I, the, the start for this is a homeschooler's prayer, and that's the rough draft of that. I wrote that. So... I wrote nothing. I but got this some, is my worst stretch. Yeah, I got some writing done. Um, not a, not not anything new. Um, some of my Lenten resolutions have kind of <laughs> interfered a little bit with that, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll I, I will get some writing in. You will survive later. As long as you know how to love, you know you stay alive. You will survive. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Meow. <laughs> no. Maybe drop my pattern. Aww. I know. The world's smallest. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything else? No. Are we not not since you rudely threw my pattern on the floor? I did not, in fact. Threw it on the floor. I did not, in fact. I can't throw it on the floor. I can go. <laughs> anyway, okay. That is enough of that. We um don't really have any much any much more. <laughs> any much more. We want to take a walk. So we're going to keep this short and not blather and on and blabber on. you on and on. We want to thank you for stopping by and hope you enjoyed your tea and coffee or whatever with us while you were crocheting or knitting or sewing or whatever it is you're doing. We wish you a very wonderful week uh, full of knitting, crocheting, and whatever makes your heart happy. Next time I should be more awake because it's my next time will be my stretch off. Right. Um, we do want to get once again thank um, our donators for what they've donated for the sweater along. Mm -hmm. um, George, who is 10 hours or less. Uh, 
Kathy913, who is Kathy from Knit Nerd Podcast. Um, thank you very much. Indeed. And we want to thank Max Mix for drawing our attention to the, the iTunes difficulty problem. with the iTunes, which, um, is fixed. Fixed, which has been fixed. So that would be it. That be all there is. Um, God bless. Have a wonderful week. And this is Pen, Hook, and Needles, episode 93, and that's a wrap.